Hey there everybody, Tamar Shama here with another fantasy football roto clip and today we're going to be taking a look at running back sit starts for week four and the first start we're going to take a look at is Peyton Hillis. He's going to be going up against the Bengals at home next week and I like him for a couple of reasons. Despite the fact that Jerome Harrison might be coming back from that th thigh injury to play in week four, I still see Hillis getting the majority of the carries simply because his head coach Eric Mangini is going to reward him for the good work that he did in week three, being the 144 yards he had on the ground against the Ravens and the one touchdown he scored. I see him being rewarded for that, still getting the majority of the carries, and that's good news for, for Hillis owners because of the defense he's going up against. The Bengals haven't allowed a lot of rushing yards this season, but they are allowing 4.5 yards per carry, so definitely an opportunity there for Hillis to have a big day. I don't see him getting, uh, you know, getting anywhere near the 144 yards he had, in week three, but he definitely can break the 100-yard mark once again, and he definitely has the opportunity to score another touchdown in week four. He's a running back two in, in deeper leagues for you in week four, and he's a flex guy in, in shallower leagues. Going to the the second start at the running back position, LaDainian Tomlinson, he's going up against Buffalo in Buffalo, and right now it's clear that Tomlinson is a much better option for Rex Ryan in the run game than Sean Green, and I think because of that, you're going to see Tomlinson's workload slowly increase as the weeks go on, and, and that's good news for the Buffalo game because Buffalo, quite honestly, is just atrocious against, uh, against rushing offenses this season so far. 144 yards per game they're allowing on the ground. They've allowed, along with Detroit, a league-high five touchdowns on the ground this season. So look for Tomlinson to, to get anywhere from 15 to 20 carries, break the 80-yard mark, have a chance to score another touchdown. And we all know he's a, a threat out of the backfield catching the ball, so you want to bump him up a little bit in PPR leagues as well. He's like a, like a Hillis, a running back two in deeper leagues and a flex option in shallower leagues. And, and then the one sit we're going to look at is, is Clinton Portis. I had him as a start last week, but I misread the Ryan Torian situation. Uh, as, has been, uh, as has been Mike Shanahan's MO in the past, with Denver. He likes to get unproven running backs involved in the running game. He's doing it again with Torian. Torian split the carries with Clinton Portis in week three. I see that being the case for the rest of the season and definitely the case in week four. So you want to really sit Portis in all leagues next week unless you're really desperate for a running back. So those are sit starts at the running back position for week four. Stay tuned a little later on in the week for sit starts at the quarterback position for week four.